Oh, we got brekkie cooking here. Bacon, gonna throw some eggs in soon. Paul's a lifesaver. He's um, got the burner for us. I totally forgot our burner. So if it wasn't for Paul with that and his matches, um, yeah, we'd be eating just cold food and probably some sashimi trout. Another tip for camping is um, bring a tarp so you can protect your stuff from the rain. Even if you think it's not going to rain like I did. Um, well, it poured down this morning so everything got wet anyways. So put the tarp up, even if you think it's not going to rain. Also, like, I bagged up all my clothes, triple bagged them, so luckily, even though it rained, they didn't get wet. But yeah, the rain can pretty much, like, ruin everything, like, wet gear, wet clothes, whatever. Yeah, you just feel like going home if everything's drenched and you can't cook hot food, so luckily, a bit of coordination, unknowingly. We do have hot food, thanks to Paul, and I put up the tarp afterwards so tonight everything won't get wet the second night um maybe half an hour also another tip if you've got any food like anything we had a packet of wraps and this dirty seagull came and took Five of them while we weren't watching fishing on the shore yesterday. He's fearless. He just walks around campsite picking up anything he thinks is a little bit of food. Alright, Jeffrey just had a massive squid. It's come off, but we're we're hoping we can get tease it up again. I did spot it, but when I came back, I lost it. That's swimming properly. Nah, it's backwards now. Yeah, you had the giant one. You saw it, eh? Yeah. And then I'll um, scoop the net under it when it comes closer. Alright, it's positioned properly. Sorry, I get a bit excited. Come on. Bro's onto a nice squid. One tentacle. Oh. Come on, bro. You gotta get him in a bit closer and then I'll get him from behind. Oh. We caught one. That's Look at that. Too bad. Don't ink everything. I think he's inked out. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that your first squid ever? Hold well on. Get this right out of the way. That's good, you just sort of let them ink themselves out and then bring them on board. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's a good size. That's yeah, that's that's way bigger than a lot of the ones I catch at the wall. Oh, but we saw a big one. Eh? Yeah. But the water refraction just makes them just a little bit bigger than that. Alright, so. They have very little fences. Yeah, there's heaps of meat on that. They're like all heads and like 10%. Are you gonna hold him up or um they can't really swim and wriggle because they just swim like that. And that there's no it. spikes or anything on that part of their body. Jeffrey's first tiger squid. Straight off the campsite. Oh don't face it in my face, I guess it's be have to say bro. Um Tiger squid. <laughs> That will be dinner at some point. Look at the eyes on him. 
There's a few out there, so it'd be cool if we can get a couple of them. Jeffrey's camera and um, saw a really nice trout and I was feeling I didn't have the gun so did a bit more footage come back to the boat gave the camera back to Jeffrey and I went hunting down there for the coral trout and found him it's like a flat pizza coral and I dived down, I was just went to have a look. I noticed the trout like to hang underneath the flat pizza corals. Went down and I was like, oh, there he is. Uh, so swam a little bit away from the rock, dived down, and then I sort of crept towards him. He thought he was safe underneath the pizza coral, so it's like a big circle disc above him. And um, he's just looking at me, lining him up, and bang straight through the um, the head here actually and then it came out through the nose so the fillet's not wrecked at all. Nice fish. It's a bit dead looking now but it's a nice trout. It's only in about three meters of water, maybe four meters. Yeah, two for the esky now.
we're going. Yeah. Well, we're just doing a few drifts here. Hooked up to something really solid. I think it might be a really nice trout right in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, it is. Really nice one. I'll need that net, I think. Can you film that from where you are? Oh, no. Oh, got him. Look at that for a trout. <laughs> He's coming out of the net. Oh, that's a good one. Nice fish. That is a good one. Still going there. Eh? Yeah. Hold her up. I wanted to uh, pull it in, but I couldn't even see the point of that hook coming back out the other end. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like that, it just falls out. Wow, big one. There we go. Beautiful trout on the seven inch Z-Man, plastic, soft plastic. I think we're in, oh, it's about 30 meters of water. I'm happy with that. It's three trout for the Esky. It's a real pale color. Eh? Yeah. What's that in its mouth? Oh, it's got, that's its gut, but look at the parasite on its nose, on its forehead. There. We're here in its eyes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I saw his eyes are moving, they're looking at me. Wow. That's a solid trout, eh? Look at the thickness of it. It looks like sickly, though. Sickly? Yeah. It's so pale. I think just different water depths, they have different colours. I'm gonna turn it up now. Yeah. Beautiful sunset here, out in the middle of the ocean. Time to head back to camp and um, cook up a feed. Good conditions because we've got a little bit of a drive back to where we're camping. Well, good morning, guys. This is our last day here on the islands camping, fishing, spearing, diving. We've had great time. It's time to pack up the gear. Load it in the boat and we're going to go fish a few spots today and head in probably around lunchtime. Give myself a bit of time to wash the boat down and clean the fish. Well, we're all packed up. That's the two nights camping. And the boat's like fully loaded again. For a small boat, like, it might look a little bit cluttered, it's actually really good. Um, it's amazing the amount of junk that you can still fit under that little part here. Like it doesn't look like much, but it's actually a massive cavity up to that height down to the floor. So there's a swag in there, there's a giant camping chair, a table, all of our clothes, cooking equipment, everything. It's a bit of like a, what's that thing where the blocks go down? Tetris, it's a bit like Tetris, trying to get every, as much as you can underneath. And then out on the floor is basically like what I usually have fishing, so the big esky. I usually have bait in that esky, and then tackle bags. Um, I guess the extras are these two eskies, there's drinks in there and a few snacks. And then the spearing gear there. But all together, it's, it's not that bad really. So yeah, you got plenty of space to walk down either side, all the way to the back gunnel here. So you can lean on there when you're pulling in a massive cobia or something. On this side, the same. There's an anchor here, which probably is a bit annoying, but I guess you just walk around it or put it somewhere else. If I had like storage under the floor, um, that would make, it really good as well. But we're gonna go drive around. It's a beautiful day. And try and catch a fish or two before heading home. How do you think the trip went, Jeffrey? Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was a very good trip. Really good views. 
paradise here on the island, we'd do it again. There you go, we'd do it again. New South Wales, Florida, loving Queensland. Thanks guys. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Endless Seeds Fishing. Hope you really enjoyed that one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more and turn that notification bell on. I had a really good time with my brother Jeffrey and my mate Paul. We had a mix of fishing, spearing, snorkeling and camping which really made the trip come together. Um, shout out to my brother Jeffrey for the drone photography, that was all him. Um, I feel like I really want to get one actually, it adds a little bit extra to the content. He's got a YouTube channel called Jeffrey Masterpane and Photography, if you want to check him out. Um, so some exciting news for Endless Seeds Fishing. We've released our first two products, which are two different sized soft vibe lures. All the details are on my Facebook posts of recent and Instagram. Check them out guys, if you want to purchase through, send a message through to me and um, we'll work on getting those ordered for you. Also, if you want to support me and support the channel, I also run my own business in Mackay called Shore Bolt Electrical and Air Conditioning. If you need anything done, electrical or air conditioning, let me know. I'd be happy to help out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next episode. Back again.